Hey Kids Own. I hope you're all doing well today. I want to talk to you today about light. This is a flashlight. You're going someplace that you know will be dark. You want to bring one of these. You might use a flashlight to see things where light can't reach, like under the bed or under a shelf. Have you ever lost power in your house because of a storm? Flashlights are really helpful then. Did you know that God wants us to be lights? Of course, we won't actually glow like light bulbs. He's talking about a different kind of light. Jesus told a parable in Matthew 5, 15 through 16. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father. So you see, God wants us to use our words and actions to shine the light of Christ. If people see that you're good and that you're a faithful person, they'll wonder what makes you that way. And that's how you shine the light. You tell them that Jesus makes you that way. Jesus is the light of the world. When you shine the light in darkness, what happens to the darkness? It disappears, right? The light takes over. Well, some people live in darkness. They don't know how to have joy or goodness because they've been in the dark so long without Jesus. But you can share your light with them by showing them the love of God and telling them how much God loves them too. You can be like this flashlight and shine the light into their darkness. Don't ever be afraid because God always provides the light. I'm praying for you all and I'm looking forward to worshiping with you online this Sunday. Hope you all have a great week.